Look around the room right now. Look around your room right now. Try and count the amount of things in there that are plastic. 50, 100, 200. No one, no one is talking about this. A few, a few people, a few, I will say, a few people are actually, like, talking about this and actually, like, know this is a problem, but there are very few people out there that are talking about this. If you go to anyone's house, you will find a mil, like, a million things that are plastic. Like, I can literally see, okay, that's plastic, that's plastic. My keyboard's plastic. My mouse is plastic. That's plastic. That's plastic. That's plastic. <laughs> Bro, there's so many things. Everything is made in plastic nowadays. So you're so so it's almost impossible to avoid this. But okay, you're thinking right now in your brain. Well, okay, this guy's talking so much shit about plastic. What's wrong with plastic? Like, why, what's wrong with plastic, bro? Um, that's why I'm making this video. So, plastic is an extremely common thing. That, like, everything uh, is, like, packed in it. Everything is in plastic. Everything is... Everything is plastic. <laughs> bro, you're eating plastic at McDonald's. <laughs> Um, plastic, there are two chemicals in plastic that are hurting you pro probably right now. You're probably touching plastic right now. There are two chemicals that are hurting you that are in plastic. The first one is called, uh, phthalates, like a phthalate. Um, so phthalates are these like chemicals that are put in plastic to make them soft. So anything that says phthalates free or has no phthalates is probably like a hard plastic. But any any soft plastic, like plastic bags or anything like that, are made with the phthalates in them. And this chemical can harm you in many ways that I will talk about later. The second thing, the second chemical in plastic that is hurting you really bad and is probably you might be touching right now I'm not, that that I'm not sure about is bis, bisphenol A now people have BPA has become bisphenol A which is abbreviated to BPA has been like a recent talk over like the past like 10 years or whatever and it's become uh, it's gotten this bad rap. So, if you see something on, like, a plastic bottle or anything that says BPA-free, that's a cope. Because bisphenol A has chemical cousins. So, when it's something that has is BPA-free, it just has BPS in it, which is bisphenol S, which has the same purpose. And then bisphenol S is starting to get a bad rap. So then they replace it with bisphenol F. So bisphenol, bis, the different bisphenols, like bisphenol A, bis, bisphenol S and K, F and K, whatever, whatever there is. Um, that's what makes plastic hard. So... Probably your phone case, um, like any plastic that is hard has bis has a bisphenol in it. So whether that be bisphenol A, S, F, whatever, that has bisphenols in it. So everything is in plastic basically, and. Plastic, right, it has these chemicals in them 
these two different chemicals that harm you in in ways but but how do they harm you like why should you avoid phthalates and bisphenols well the thing with this is bisphenol well they actually have different different like harms um i'll talk about the the one we really want to know about um soon but but why most people are saying like bis uh, bisphenol A free, like bis BPA free, f like phthalates free and stuff like that is because everyone thinks, you know, it harms the environment and it's bad for the environment and stuff like that. Um, but, uh, and it increases the risk of cancer and stuff like that. But yes, this is, this is true, right? But guess what else these chemicals are really doing to you guess what these chemicals have guess what these chemicals are these are kind of these well guess what these chemicals technically are estrogens now if you don't know what estrogen is it is the if hormone that it's that is in both males and females, but is also, but is more in females, less in males. Now, when males have more estrogen in their blood, it, uh, throughout their body, um, this makes them start to develop like a woman more. So, gynecomastia, which is like a disease which makes your like nipples uh, which makes your nipples, like, puff up and stuff, it's kind of weird, but it, it looks really weird, and it, it's, it decreases your testosterone, um, it just makes you, it, it, there's, like, less chance of you having children if you have high estrogen and low testosterone, So these plastics, any every plastic that you touch, every plastic that you touch, every single time you touch it, it is more and more lowering your testosterone and tiring your chances of not having children. By a little bit, but you touch plastic a lot, right? Plastic is in everything, bro. And these chemicals are really messing you up. Now, you may think I'm being a bit extreme, like, okay, whatever, I, I, I touch a little bit of plastic, what's it gonna do to me? Okay, yes, if you touch plastic once, a couple times, a few times throughout the day, okay, it's not gonna hurt you that much, it's not gonna hurt you, but that you're not touching plastic three times a day, you're, you're constantly touching plastic, and you may think I'm being extreme, right? And that's a good thing to think. Like, if you agree with me right now, if you think this is like, yo, yo, this guy's actually like, this is like true, bro. This is this actually makes sense. Then you, you, you there's, you should do your own research. Like I, I did my own research. I watched like videos and stuff about it, but I also did my own research. I looked through like, uh, like scientific like websites and stuff there are like scientific studies done that this like lowers your testosterone and stuff like that and it really interrupts your health and it's just so you're asking okay if plastic is such a bad thing then how am i like how am i supposed to bro did my my your bed sheets are plastic. You're probably your bed sheets. Your clothes are probably plastic. Mine are. No, I'm I'm working on um, you know, converting to like non-plastic and stuff. And I've made a little bit of progress, but um it's really a it's a difficult thing to do because 
there's so everything is plastic there's so much there's so many things to buy and it takes a while so this is why you sort this is sort of why you want to like you want to start making more money and all of this which is tough it's very tough to do this like kind of transition now you're thinking okay wait this guy just told me this 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 13 year old just told me just told me that this this all oh, this freaking this really common thing oh is harmful for my testosterone but like oh he doesn't know what he's talking about he's he's only 13 bro uh, i don't have to listen to him You shouldn't miss, listen to most 13-year-olds. Most 13-year-olds, uh, so, um, yeah, most 13-year-olds you don't want to listen to. But you kind of got to trust me here. But also do your own research, like I said. Do your own research. But you just have to kind of trust me a little bit. That I know what I'm talking about. Because I've done hours of research on this kind of stuff. And... Yeah, it's it's difficult to try and transition over. And you may be like, okay, this 13-year-old is just... This 13-year-old is telling me to buy all this new stuff. Like, bro, I, he can't tell me what to spend my money on. But... That's fair enough, but... I just wanted to make this video to inform you that plastics are really harming your health. All types of plastics, not just some types... All types of plastic are harming your health. And you don't have to, you don't have to take action on this video and do something about this, like, this plastic stuff. But if you really want to... If one of your goals in life is to have children one day, I recommend that you take some advice take this advice and do at least do a little bit something about it because um it's it really harms it really harms you peace out bro see you in the next video